What's going on everybody? Noah back here with another YouTube video. Here today we got some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. If you guys are fans of the game but don't really have the money to be dropping on it, then chances are you more than likely have seen all these new weapons come in and have been pretty annoyed that you haven't been able to unlock them yet. Well, obviously, we've seen the ICR come available to free-to-play players for 3,000 credits in the shop, but something that I actually overlooked and hadn't noticed until just now, once you hit Pro 2, you actually unlock the brand new Locust Yellow Snake skin. And as you guys know, in Call of Duty Mobile, once you unlock a skin, you actually unlock the specific weapon that you have the skin for. So essentially, the Locust is now a free-to-play weapon as long as you can get up to the Pro 2 tier, which honestly isn't too much to ask for. So as you guys can see, I've played a couple of ranked matches now. I've got about 46 points until I level up to the Pro tier division. So I figure what we'll go ahead and do is hop into a couple of games, and then once we unlock the Locust, drop some nukes with it. All right, here we go, jumping into some uh, Crash Domination. It should be fun. Got the AK-117 in hand, because you guys already know we're going super tryhard mode. I might as well cap this five with the squad. Go ahead and drop the trip mine. And we're going to start spraying them off of the B flag, if they're even on it. I'm shocked that they didn't go for the cap right away. That's honestly a sign that the team is not very experienced. Because whenever you get that A side, you should be able to get a free B cap before the team even gets close to being able to shoot you off. So for now, we're just going to sit up here, pretty much just patrol the map. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go full send, try to get into that yellow area. Our team just about has the B flag. Good stuff. There we go. Oh, I got some good shots on that player, but there are wall banks, and he's got a sniper. So I'm not really going to stay there and challenge that fight all too much. Got UAV is good stuff, squad. Go ahead and take that first assist. Got a player coming down. Dead. I got UAV myself. Enemies had just shot down the one we had had. Okay. We'll go ahead and pick up this Type 25 too as soon as this player's dead. Oh, I guess we'll grab this one. Fall back a little bit, calling this counter UAV. Yeah, these enemies are so pushed back. At this point, I'm pretty sure my squad is just like pub stomping because we could totally have capped this B flag if we wanted to. Got two players next to me. Good. That's a huge double kill to get. Go ahead and back up a little bit. I've got this Predator Missile on standby at the moment. So we've got a couple of players over here, and that sniper is still kind of just eyeballing me. So I'm going to let him do his thing. I'm going to constantly be using my teammates as bait and cover. Yeah, this guy with the Locust is honestly scaring the mess out of me because I know if he hits me once with that sniper, it's a done deal. I'm a goner. Go prone here. Got stuck in my uh, enemy's body there. Yeah, we're just playing this alleyway. Playing our rotations. Might have to whip out the Sparrow here for a second as like an emergency outing. Because these guys are starting to push up. Good little bit on us. Hostile Predator missile. I'm going to try to slide away from it. Okay, good. He didn't go for me. Sit here for a second. Good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call my own Predator Missile in. Yeah, let me get, take out this sniper up top. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know what just happened to my Pred, but it didn't kill the player. And all just got super quiet. Ooh, there goes my teammate. Oh, I'm getting shot on the side. Player with, I'm assuming, Ghost and obviously the Suppressor. He's just kind of posted up. Still rotating around. We got the dude with the Locust hanging out. Got some good shots in. Not gonna let myself die here. We're on a pretty decent streak. We're gonna try to close out this nuke. Got some stuns. Take out one. Counter UAV going up. Good stuff, teammate. Rotate back around. Take one, fall back a little bit. That guy went in the back alleyway. Not sure what he's trying to do. Good, good. I'm assuming he's going for a full flank. So we're going to go ahead and call on this Predator Missile. Boom. Dude, yeah, I don't know what's going on. There's like a part of the map that's actually stopping that dude from dying. Yeah, he's still just sitting up there. I want to rotate around, get to see. 
These enemies are starting to get like flip spawn points. They broke themselves out of the spawn trap. That was really smart of them to rotate around. That's what's called OEing. Good kill. Now, obviously, I've got the entire next half to go ahead and get this nuke, so I'm not going to try to play too aggressive here. We're just going to try to stay alive. Okay, so our goal here oh, is to avoid the Sparrow user. And try to close out this nuke streak. Good. Sparrow. Got him weak. A UAV, we'll go ahead and call on that bad boy. I'm going to try to break in here on the seaside. Again, I really need to avoid snipers and sparrows. Close fight. We're on a relentless, so that's 20. I know I'd gotten a few kills with the Predator Missile and my Sparrow. I'm going to try to just get this spawn trap going that I had actually during the tournament that I played in because it was really nasty. Just not getting the chance, though, because my squad's pushing up so aggressively, flipping the spawn points like crazy. Our UAV's not up anymore. Got that player so weak. I'm gonna keep backing up, calling this counter UAV. Fall back a little bit more. Got a lot of players on me. Jeez. Good. Got some teammate assistance and backup now, so use them as distractions. And there we go, closing out that streak for our first ranked nuke of season three. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, geez, I tried to use that predator missile. There's nobody over there. Good stuff, man. Oh, locust dude sitting over there in the corner. Go ahead and take him out with the sparrow before the nuke comes on in. Boom, bam. UAV going up. And we should be spawning all around the map now because my teammates are highly pushed into that C area. Go ahead and drop that player with the Sparrow. We're going to pick up his weapon. What was he using? The Type 25 Geometry. Heck yeah. Go ahead and call in another Predator Missile. Dude, this is just straight domination. Honestly, feel bad for the other squad. That was probably the Locust dude that I was worried about the whole time. Yeah, so here we go with a little sneak peek of the free-to-play Locust skin. It's pretty nice, honestly. Saw some players over there. I'm going to try to keep my flawless going as long as I can, so we're not going to let ourselves die like that. Now, of course, the biggest difference between ranked nukes and public match nukes, obviously, with the fact that the players that you're going against are going to be better players, you're going to have to be really smart about your map positioning and the fights that you take. You don't want to ever go against multiple enemies at the same time, and you never want to take a fight out in the open. So always use vehicles like cover, as you guys can see that I'm doing right there, and just make sure that you're rotating the map properly. You never want the enemies to know exactly where you're going to be, so don't sit in the same spot. Definitely rotate around and just you know, try to be as stealthy as possible. Hard to predict. And with that, we actually got 53 points and it leveled us up over here to Pro 2, which will mean now we have the free-to-play Locust available. Let's go ahead and check our mailbox. And there it is. Here is a multiplayer ranked match reward. Enjoy the game. Go ahead and claim that. And it's gonna be the Locust Yellow Snake. And with this bad boy equipped, we are all set to jump into some matches. Okay, here we are jumping into things on a map that I've not played in a long time. Take off. Of course, we've got the new Locust in hand. Let's see what we can go ahead and accomplish. Immediately, I'm just going to go ahead and challenge over here. I saw one player pushing up. Go ahead and take out that guy far off in the distance. What's this guy doing? He's like, he's standing right over here. I'm going to start pushing him. Wait, what? I have no idea where this dude went. He must have had dipped at the perfect time that I just didn't see him leave. Got a player with an MSMC over here. Take him on out. Looks like our team is going to be capping this A flag. So spawns might be flipping here. Take out one. Heard some footsteps close. Ooh. Let's do it with the MSMC. He's a goner. We got a UAV. Yes. Dude, it's still taking me like a little bit of time to get used to this new movement here with snipers as well. Like they just feel a little bit off, but definitely as we start warming up a little bit more, we'll be uh, dominant again with the snipes. We're starting off like a pretty dang good streak right now, man. I've missed takeoff. I haven't played it in so long. I used to spawn trap so hard on this map. And as you guys can see, we're still doing it. Ooh, 
Got a player behind me. Go ahead and take this guy out with the pistol. Yes, okay. Let me grab your MSMC and we're going to get out of this whole situation. Nice holographic sight. Always 10 out of 10 choice whenever you do that. Smack him off the B flag again. We got a Predator missile. We'll go ahead and call in this bad boy. We got two. I'll take the single though. And that'll actually bump us up here to another Predator missile. Enemies were back on B again. They're really trying to get that right now. Got two over here by A. We'll take out one over in front of us. And I'm going to fall back and try to get these other guys after we reload. Let's see if they make the push here for the flag or if they're just hanging out in the building. I hear the footsteps. There we go. Let's see if we can take out the guy up top as well. Reload this MSMC. We're going to push a little bit. Oh my goodness. Close, close. Fight. UAV. That's good. Losing B. Okay, let me go ahead and whip out the Locust again. Yup. Oh, a collat for the nuke. Let's go. That was such a good first half. What a way to close off the streak, too. Honestly, I forgot how much fun it is to really just run around with the Locust. I was using the DL a whole lot last season because of the fact that I was playing a good bit of ranked. And I was like really into sniping too last season. But yeah, this is a fun little weapon. It's super awesome as well that it, you know it's free to play and it's pretty much accessible to anyone who grinds for it. We got the shield. That player's gonna be super weak. I'm gonna fall back here just to get to some safety, and then I might even mess around calling this predator missile. See if we can kill him that way. Yeah, little scumbag move there. While I'm free for a second and safe in this corner, we'll go ahead and pop the nuke as well. And we're definitely going to need to grab that B flag whenever we get the opportunity. Ooh, I saw this player right behind him. Nice little point blank. Ooh. You're going to push me? No? All right, missed opportunity. You're going to die to the nuke now. We'll be seeing you. Okay. Teammates are going to be over here by B. No one's going to hop on the flag. Come on. Come on. I'm going to drop the shield here. We should have it. Let's go. Okay, now I just need to defend it. We can win this game. Go ahead and call another Predator missile. That should be able to knock him off of the C flag. I didn't realize that my team had capped that. That was good. We got that defense. I heard some footsteps next to me. I don't know what is going on. Oh, yeah, there's a player right in front of me. Good stuff. Good. UAV recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. Oh, I just destroyed that guy's head. Lost C. Ready to jam enemy UAV. This guy in the window? Oh, it doesn't even matter. That's going to do it for the game. Honestly, my character looks really badass. I love this entire setup. Well, I think that's going to go ahead and do it here for the gameplay. I appreciate you guys all for coming out and watching this all the way to the end. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Locust now that it's available for free. Which is your favorite bolt action sniper, the DL or the Locust? That is the question to be answered, but not by myself because that is going to do it for me. I appreciate you guys all once again, and I'll catch you all in the next one.